Hello everyone. In previous videos, we discussed building a Civil 3D topo surface using the survey database, whether it's from a raw format file or an ASCII text-based format. We've also discussed building surfaces or topos using point groups or Kogo points within Civil 3D. Today, I thought I'd quickly go through the case where you just have ground shots and you would like to bring those directly into the surface but the point name, labeling, none of that really matters. They're just all the same shot. And I would like to quickly bring them in very lightweight to build a Civil 3D surface. So let's take a look at how we do that. First thing I'm gonna do is build a surface in memory. I'm just gonna right click under surface, create surface. And I'll call this EG. You can set any style that you'd like. I can do uh, one in five background maybe. Now you can, from the prospector here, you can use the definition area to do this. I like to right click and select to use the contextual menu at the top. And you can see on the modify panel, we have add data. And we're gonna select point files. This will take us to the same point file import dialog that the Kogo point import uses as well as the survey database when I'm bringing in data from a static CSV or text file. So I'm gonna select my data, I have a CSV file. I'll open this quickly before I import it. Just in Excel, you can see point number northern easting elevation. We don't really care about the point number. So I'm gonna select it. And now I'm going to pick the format. Again, point number northern easting elevation. Hit OK, and I'm going to zoom extents, double clicking the middle button on the mouse. Now you can see my contours. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the surface, and we're going to go to surface properties and the contextual menu. And notice here we have lots of styles to choose from, but I don't have any displaying the points. So I'm just going to quickly make a copy of this guy. Of course, you can name it here with points, maybe. I'm going to go under display, and I can turn on triangles and points both, maybe. I can leave on or off contours, it doesn't matter. And I can display. Now you can see these small plus signs representing the surface points. So what about making edits? And remember, these points really are not named or don't have any intelligence, but that's okay. I can still make edits. So if I select my surface, the contextual menu pops up. We'll go to move a point. And I'll select this point maybe. I'll disable the object snap. And you can see I moved that surface point away from here and it retriangulates on the fly. So now that we've made this change, our surface point has been modified. The triangles have been modified and the contours have been modified. So everything's good. We can continue making edits, triangle edits, or whatever we need to do. Now if there is a case where I move some points around in the surface and for some reason I want to take all or some or all of those points out into a text file or back into Kogo, we can do that as well. So what I'll do here is I'm going to go back to surface properties just to clean up the display a little bit. And I'm going to edit the style and I'm just going to turn off everything but the points and the border. So there's my surface points just displayed. So now if I select the surface, there is an extract from surface dialog. I can say extract objects and I don't have to turn all those off. Just makes it easy. I'm going to select points. Hit OK. And now if I turn off my surface, either did I just go the same place here, turn this off, no display. So now the surface points are turned off, but now I have AutoCAD points displayed on the screen. So I'm going to type in DDP type, DDP type. It brings up the dialog for the point style of the AutoCAD, and I'll just select maybe the circle and hit OK. So we can see all those points. So we could do what we'd like. These are just AutoCAD points at this point. 
For example, if we wanted to convert these to Kogo points, we can go up to the points collection, point creation tools. What I need to do first, or what I recommend, is to set your prompt for elevations and prompt for descript descriptions automatic. So now that we have that set, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these points, and I may just select one and go select similar. Then I'll hit escape because I have that full selection set in memory. And now I'll go to the pull down, convert Autodesk, AutoCAD points, and it asks for which ones, and I'm going to type PR for previous. If I move this up here, you can see it found 520 points from my previous selection set. I hit enter to accept that. And now I have a group of Kogo points displayed. You can see the new location of that Kogo point. So you might do this in the case where I move some points around on the surface and I really like a record of that and back in the ASCII original CSV format. So this is just one way to do that. Quite a few more ways to get those points out. That's just one option available to you. You can see now when I go to the point groups, all points, you can see all the new Kogo points in memory and I can right click on these and export if I'd like to bring those out uh, into a text format. So the goal today was just to show a fast way to bring in points when you just need ground shots. You know, maybe you have fill in, you've done break lines, but you have a lot of fill in just ground shots and you just want to dump those in the surface. You don't want to carry the weight of Kogo points. You don't need all that. You just need the location, the elevation. That's all you really care about. This is a fast way to do that. I hope this has been beneficial. Have a great day.